Eric Mwadi from Mwadi.com. Let's take a look at the chart for Facebook going into the close of February 25th, 2018. Now, before I go into the details of this video, just show you what is going on in terms of the Facebook chart. We can see after earnings release last night, Facebook is down substantially, trading down about 19 to 20% for the day. Now, take a look here. This is the close of yesterday, how the chart looked like. And this is an all-time daily closing high going into the close of yesterday again. If we take a look at this from a long-term monthly chart, this is how it looked like at the end of yesterday. Now, if we update this chart and take a look at today's action, we can see a change. Of course, with the down movement today, take a look at movement here. We've gone from being above 69.1. Now we are back below it on the monthly. Also, right now, we are showing what looks like to be a failed breakout. So this failed breakout is now a problem for the stock going forward unless it can reclaim the previous monthly closing high this looks like a stock that could easily go into a multi-month tailspin now for the reason for this video is based on the daily chart and again yesterday's close today's action in fact let me update that so what i want to talk about here is we had closed above 69.1 at the end of yesterday now today we are breaking below three key levels 69.1 we are also breaking below 50 and also we are moving below 30.9 all of this happening in one day generally speaking when you break below any of these levels on a given day any you get an expanded move to the downside but on a day when you get one day's action taking out all these levels that definitely is a change in the climate for the stock short term anybody trading this is better off waiting for the stock to come off the 30.9 level so on a day-to-day -day basis let's say if you're looking for a reason to go along the best thing to do is wait for the stock to move above the 69.1 level otherwise as long as you're trading below the six excuse me 30.9 level so as long as the stock is trading below 30.9, expect the downside pressure to continue. Just like there was downside pressure here when the RSI was trading below 30.9. It's only after the RSI recovers above 30.9 that we get this recovery in price. So for now, day to day, best thing to do is wait for the stock to recapture the level above 30.9. Otherwise, good example of what happens when you break below 69.1 below 50 and or below 30.9 eric mother mother com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s oh and as a bonus take a look at this back test line do it like that we can see that the stock was unable to recapture the level back above the red line and on hindsight we can see that looks like a reversal territory eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings i am out Mwah.